What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chris Jones, no, can't kennels. Um, it just came to me as I was uh, in here processing uh, quarter legs for my dogs. All right. Yeah. Process about 30 pounds of quarter legs at a time. Um, what I mean when I process the quarter legs, I actually uh, cut the leg off. You know, and use that, and then I take the the upper thigh Daddy. part and chunk that up for the dogs and then uh, it's a bone that runs um, along the back and along the ribs you know which is actually ribs and you know a little spine and I, I stripped that off as well um, so I'm gonna show you guys that on here alright you see this bone here I cut right along this bone leave that connected you know, as one piece, and that's where you got this. And then I cut here in the joint. You know, you can feel it here in the joint. I cut the leg off, and that's what you got here. And then what's remaining is this big chunk of, of meat here with a bone that runs through it right there. So I just take that and I cut it into chunks. You see how the bone is cut? All right, so the whole point of this video, uh, a lot of people are concerned about, um, you know, the dogs eating bone. They hear that it's splinters and it's not good. And, um, you know, dogs can't eat it. You know, it's too hard. But, you know, I'm using a simple pair of kitchen scissors, right? Kitchen meat scissors to do my processing. Um, bear with me because I'm actually going to try to set you guys up so you can see this. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually take these kitchen scissors. See if it'll stay. No, that's too tall. All right, bear with me, guys. Um, see if this will work. Alright, cool. I'm going to take them, my kitchen scissors here. And I'm actually going to cut through the bone. But I'm going to also show you how I process my quarter legs. <clears throat> because a lot of people, they just take the quarter leg, you know, and they just toss it to the dog. You know, which is okay sometimes. But, you know, if you're not paying attention to your dog, how do you know your dog is really chewing it up enough? How do you know um, the dog is, is getting it down to small pieces? Um, that it needs to, to, to do in order to uh, fit into the dog's mouth. Um, I eliminate some problems by processing even my quarter legs. All right, so we're going to go with this big piece here. All right, and like I said, I go right across that bone. My kitchen scissors. You know, so now you have this, I call it a back strap. Just, you know, it's literally a piece of spine, piece of spine here, and then some ribs there. All right, so that's a piece of that. And then I take it, and I bend it up, and I find the joint, and I cut in between the joints. And that would take you right through the gristle as well. You know, so I cut right in there. You know, and then you left with the leg. All right. And now I got this chunk of meat left, which is the thigh, but it has bone in it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and I'm here at the bone now, right? I'm at the bone now. You know, this thigh was left over. I'm at the bone, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cut it. Look at that. Right, I cut right through the bone. See, that's the bone there. You don't believe me? I'll do it again. Let me finish processing this one up. And I'll show you guys again. Um, I'm leaving the fat on here, the skin, the fat on here. You know, fat, as I say in multiple videos, is very essential. Protein and fat is very essential to dog's health. Um, your dog will not be able to sustain illnesses or... or, or, um, or injuries and stuff if it doesn't have a good amount of fat in its diet 
which fuels the body as well as protein. All right, now, if you didn't think that it's simple enough to cut through, here you go again. I got the bottom chicken leg, I'm cutting through the bone. And boom, there you go. I cut through it. Cut the knob off, there you go. Right through the bone. All right, the reason for me doing that and showing you guys that is uh, to pretty much just help you guys become more comfortable when it comes to your dogs eating bone. Um, a lot of people say, uh, the dogs can't hate eat bone, the bone's gonna splinter. Only cooked bone splinter. Only cooked bone splinter. And I, I'm gonna rephrase that. Not only cooked bone splinter, but frozen bones. If your bone is frozen solid, you know, uh, it will break. You know, and it also could break your dog's teeth. And, and you seriously don't, you know, wanna have to deal with a, a broken dog's tooth. Because a lot of times when a dog breaks it, and it comes to bone, it's actually very low on the tooth near the gum. So the only option you really have from there is tooth extraction, which can be very costly. Um, so one of the ways to eliminate that is to go ahead and, and process your quarter legs up. Um, you know, make sure your, your meat is thawed. Now, I, I've heard of people giving semi-frozen... Um, quarter legs and stuff to dogs because their dogs are, are gawpers <coughs> and I actually <coughs> excuse me um, I actually have recommended that as well uh, multiple times for a couple dogs that I know you know they would they would chew the food up um, but they were chewing so fast and they were gulping the food you know they were getting gas so um, I recommend it you know stick it into the freezer an hour you know for an hour before freezing, I mean before uh, feeding, if the meat is uh, completely thawed, and that way, you know it hardens up a little bit, and it slows your dog's the dog down from just woofing down the food, and you know you know your dog is actually taking his time enjoying the food, which they are going to enjoy regardless. But you know they're actually uh, processing it up themselves with their teeth. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna let you guys finish. You know, watch me. I only got one more left. Um, this is bag number three. Um, Thirty pounds of of chicken. Now you said you hear me say bag number three. Where I get my quarter legs from, you know, it's no big secret. Um, when I get them like this, I get them from Walmart. And it's cheap from Walmart, unless I'm uh running to my butcher and you know I put in a call to get quarter legs from that but the reason I, I like to go to, to the Walmart quarter legs is uh, the quarter legs are bigger when you get them from a butcher they're a little smaller especially where I get my stuff from it's a little smaller because it's you know it's locally grown and, and bred animals and they're they're a little more free range than uh, these Purdue style chickens who are they say they're free range, but you know these joints are not free range, man. They're they're kept in these huge um, pens, barns, whatever you want to call it, um, for mass production to feed people. And um, you know, do another bone. There you go. Now, a dog's jaw is way more stronger than this. Way more stronger than this. Especially when it comes to these bullies, their their jaw is pretty strong. Unless your dog is has a messed up bite, uh, I'm not even gonna get into that right now. But uh, yeah, Walmart, man. Uh, you know, go to Walmart, get a 10 pound bag of uh, quarter legs. Cost you like five bucks. Process your quarter legs up. I got a bucket, and it's actually three of them. Uh, let me get my glove off. And I use gloves, as you guys can see, I use gloves, gloves. And even though I use gloves, I wash my hands afterwards. And then I wash my hands again after I sanitize my sink. I sanitize my sink, I clean my sink out with uh, dish soap and bleach um, to keep the bacteria and stuff down for us, um, us humans. But uh. Let me go ahead and dry my hands and pick uh, my phone up and show you guys.
you know, I got this container, Walmart, costs two bucks, and it holds ten pounds of, of chicken, of quarter leg chicken, ten pounds. Now with the quarter legs, um, when I feed my quarter legs, I also feed uh, egg, brown eggs, farm raised brown eggs. I don't buy them from the store. I raise them myself in the country. Family raises them. I get them. I feed them to my dogs. We eat them ourselves. Um, you know, so this container holds 10 pounds. With this, they would get a little bit of kibble. They would get an egg. Um, they get their multivitamin every day. And I also have been using Walmart brand Pro Sense, Walmart brand Pure Salmon Oil. It's been working pretty good with my dogs. They've been on it about two weeks now. <laughs> um, so I'll continue to get it. And the reason I got that from Walmart is, is, is salmon oil is omega-3s. And uh, it's inexpensive. You know, I've seen some that is very, very expensive for salmon oil. And I'm like, you, you're crazy. If I'm going to spend that amount, I might as well buy the capsules and, and uh, poke a hole in the capsules and put it in my dog's food. So when they get kibble and quarter leg, they get salmon oil, they get their multivitamin, they get egg, and that's their meal. Alright, so when they don't get quarter legs, that means they're getting my raw mix, which has the bone, which has veggies, which has fish, which has beef, which has chicken, organs, all that good stuff in there. And I switch it up. So 10 pounds of quarter legs for my three dogs will last me two days. So what I end up doing is I process this. You know, and I have uh, two other containers um, that I already processed, and I got those in the freezer now. Um, so I process this. I feed them this tonight, and then I feed them the same meal tomorrow. And then the next day, I use my raw mix. And then the following day, I use my raw mix. And then I do a, a what's called a quarter kibble day, which is my fasting day. I only give them um, my dogs that normally get a cup of kibble. They only get a quarter cup of kibble to put something into their food to help. Uh, push out whatever else is in there and my dog that gets a half cup should still get a little less than a quarter cup also to help push whatever foods in there out so the dogs can uh, eliminate all of that and uh, rest their system for a day all right social man chris jones novocaine kennels and we're out